On today's video, I am sharing with you a life-changing chicken sandwich. I cannot believe I'm saying that, but it's true. You see, I just came back from a month trip in Japan. There, I tried a lot of different things, including a lot of steaks and weird stuff you don't get here. Take, for example, this black ice cream. I never thought I would eat that, but here we go. My black ice cream is melting, everybody. <laughs> mm. Oh. <laughs> It's vanilla ice cream. Then I tried this weird mochi. You know, normally whenever you eat mochi here in the United States, it's white, chewy, delicious. This one was different. It was deep fried mochi. Quite doughy, slightly sweet. Ugh. I'm so sorry. I don't like it. <laughs> you know, the same deep fried makes everything taste better. I guess that does not apply to mochi. <laughs> but most people love to visit this place. They had everything you saw me trying, plus these black eggs. Now you see these mountains. It is a volcanic valley with active sulfur vents and hot springs. They actually cook these eggs in the hot springs. The sulfur in the water turns the eggshells black. They say it's safe to eat, so... That it smells like the most rotten egg that you've ever smelled in your life. All right. There we have it. It tastes very eggy, but it's pretty good. Yep, surprisingly, it tasted like a normal egg. But right after that, I went to Nikko, another beautiful town in Japan. Now, in this place, you see a lot of temples. You walk quite a bit. And let me tell you, when I was done seeing all these beautiful locations, I wanted something to eat. And I found this place, Menten Chicken Grill. It is a tiny restaurant. They offer a small menu, very small. But my eyes went straight to this chicken burger. That's what they call it, everybody. My expectation was all the way to the floor. I didn't have any hopes. I didn't think it was going to be great. But when I saw that burger, I knew I was in for something special. Oh wow, that's good. That's very good. It was an amazing experience. Then I asked the chef how it was made. And today I'm going to share this recipe that changed my life with you. Enough talking, let's go. And everything starts off with chicken. As you can clearly see, I'm using chicken thighs. Now since this is a sandwich, it must be boneless. But if you buy bone in, it will always be cheaper. And the best part is that you can keep as much fat as you want. Because once they are fully trimmed, the next step is even easier. And that is to throw it in the bag and cook it sous vide. Now the key here is the temperature and time. I'll be cooking it at at 149 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. Because once it was fully cooked, you want to immediately throw it in an ice bath. We want to stop the cooling process and chill it out as fast as possible. Now here's the best part, and it is a restaurant trick that most people use. You can store it on your refrigerator for up to a week. Oh yes, and that is exactly what they did there in the restaurant. Now once it's time to cook, all you gotta do is remove it from the bag, pat it dry really nicely, and it is now ready to be finished. But there's one key thing that we still need, and that would be a sauce. This sauce is where everything changes this chicken. And the best part is that you can make this one ahead of time. So into a pan, you want to throw some mirim followed by brown sugar. Stir everything up until the brown sugar is completely dissolved. Then you want to add some sake followed by soy sauce, garlic, scallions, ginger, black peppercorn, and to finish it, some cherry vinegar. Now you want to stir everything together and let it reduce. You want to make sure that the sauce gets a nice coating on the chicken and it sticks. Once you're happy with the consistency, you want to go ahead and strain everything everything out and there you have it. This sauce is everything. Absolutely delicious. And as you can clearly see, it will stick to the chicken with no problem. One other thing that this sandwich had was this sauce right here. And if I'm being completely honest, even though this one adds something to it, if you want to leave it out, you can. But if you want to have the full experience, here's how to make it. Into a bowl, you want to throw in some sushi rice vinegar, followed by brown sugar, sesame oil, soy sauce, sesame seeds, diced ginger, grated onions. To finish it off, salt and black pepper to taste. Now you want to mix everything everything together and there's your sauce. Now in order to see how this chicken sandwich that changed my life stacks up, I'm going to be comparing it to a very popular chicken sandwich. Yes, Chick-fil-A. A lot of people love this grilled chicken sandwich. So let's see how mine will stack up because the next step is the most important. You definitely want to make sure you toast your buns. I'm using brioche buns. Get a nice little char on it. Then, to cook the chicken, it's quite simple. You first started by dunking it in the sauce. Then, you want to immediately go into the grill. You don't want the grill too hot. You're looking for two things. Caramelize the sauce, warm up the chicken, and get a nice charcoal flavor. Those three combinations is the key why this chicken sandwich is so good. I'm telling you, friends. And as you're cooking it, dunk it in the sauce at least three times. The caramelization and smokiness is what makes this chicken amazing. As once it's done and you're happy with the color, the only thing left to do is to build. 
Add that ginger sauce, followed by some lettuce, a generous amount of the chicken, a slice of tomato, a tiny bit of white onions, and finish it off with the top bun. Noticed one thing. I did not season the tomatoes. I did not season the onions. That's how they do it over there. Because everything is all about the chicken. I'm telling you, friends, this is the greatest chicken sandwich I've ever had in my life. Now, I know you might be skeptical because I'm saying it. Well, let's see what everyone else thinks. Because now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to eat. All right, everybody. And here we got our beautiful sandwiches today, gentlemen. What do you guys think? Excuse me, it's not sandwich. Let me take that back. Burgers. I don't think Chick-fil-A makes burgers. Yeah, no, this is a burger. This is a burger. I went to Japan and there they called this a chicken burger. Is there something else going on? Because it? it looks like a normal chicken sandwich. It does look like a very normal chicken sandwich. I want you to try it and you tell me. So here's the deal. I'm comparing this with Chick-fil-A. I want you guys to tell me which one is better and how this one here tastes. All right, what are you doing? I'm uh, personalizing the sandwich. You took all of the vegetables out. Are you serious, everybody? You <laughs> well, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, it's pretty good. It does taste really good, though. Like, I like the tomatoes. I like the lettuce. This is a good chicken sandwich. It's not, like, mind-blowingly good. Yeah. It's a good chicken sandwich. It's not bad. If you think I'm going to trash it, I'm not going to trash it, everybody. It is not a bad chicken sandwich. It's okay. Nothing wrong with the chicken sandwich, but stop eating it. Let's try this one. Visually, it looks... Oh. That smells, that smells exactly so what I my reaction. That smells so good. But that's exactly. I wish I would have filmed it, everybody, but I wasn't even taking it seriously. Because I didn't think I think this was gonna. What are you doing? Oh, I'm keeping it consistent now. <laughs> this chicken is poking out of the side and everything. I like yes, that. Yes, sir. Enough talking about it. Let's give it a try. Give me your honest opinion, alright? I'm ready. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa! Oh, my dude. God! No, this is way better. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to make. Go ahead, Leo. What wow. do you think? Oh, give me a second. Oh. Give me a second. That's so good. It's just like I had it over there. Everybody. It's so juicy. I love the sauce that it has. It's a little sweet, and this char on this chicken is. Perfect. The char definitely has that charcoal flavor. Yes, yes, yes. The chicken is perfectly cooked and it's got like a very Asian type flavor, unlike Chick-fil-A. But it is saucy and it is amazing. Yeah. On the first sandwich we tried, it's like it's a chicken sandwich that has other elements and the chicken is not that much the star. On this one, the chicken is the star. It stands out, it has a bunch of bold flavor and it tastes Fantastic. I'm telling you guys, this one changed my life. This made me like chicken again, everybody. These are the results, guys. I really hope you give this one a try. It is very easy to make. Make the sauce ahead of time. That way you keep it on your refrigerator. Damn, I went hard on this one. This thing is good. Try the vegetable, bro. 